He's credited with turning a struggling local carrier into a global industry leader. But after 15 years at the helm of Hawaiian Airlines, CEO Mark Dunkerley is saying goodbye. Dunkerley announced he is retiring in March to focus more on family on the East Coast and in Europe. Sarah Madison sat down with Dunkerley and talked about how Hawaiian Airlines evolved and what's next. Sarah. Marissa, Mark Dunkerley guided Hawaiian Airlines out of a possible bankruptcy, brought it to the top in timeliness, and expanded flights from Asia to all over the world. If you talk to him, he takes no credit for it. Instead, he says his legacy is giving his employees confidence to be the best. What is your recipe for success? Well, I'm not sure I have a single recipe for success other than uh, to spend uh, time encouraging employees to, uh, to to do their best. That's why we're the world's most punctual airline. That's why we are uh, among the most successful airlines in the world. Since 2002, Hawaiian has doubled the number of passengers flown annually to 11 million. Even the number of employees doubled to 6,600. We've quadrupled uh, in size. We've um, brought more. Uh, visitors to our islands than, than any other airline uh, in terms of the growth over these past years. Dunker Lee recalls how the 2008 recession played a role in Hawaiian's expansion. That's when w we understood that the, we'd turned the corner as a company. Th that's when we understood uh, that we had the ability to beat the best. That's when we understood uh, the need to move into Asia. Looking at the company now, Dunkerley says he could not be any more proud, and the future of commercial travel will only get better. The very largest airlines have been allowed to get very, very big. Uh, and so uh, small airlines like us, and we're one twentieth the size of our competitors, uh, become, frankly, much more valuable because we're the ones uh, that ultimately uh, keep the big guys honest. What would you like to say to your employees, to Hawaii, as you make your exit? Well, what I'd like to say is mahalo. Um, it's uh, my time here has is been at, at this company has been the highlight of my life. I've now lived in Hawaii longer than I've lived uh, in any other community, and I intend to keep that going. Dunker Lee's successor is Executive Vice President Peter Ingram. He's been with the company for 12 years, and he starts his new position on March 1st of next year. Reporting live from the airport, Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, back to you at the desk.